Hey family, welcome to another bonus real chat with your girl. So I was just scrolling through Instagram just now and I came across this post um, on millennial therapists. If y'all don't follow that profile, I think y'all should because it they always have such good posts. But I came across this post about relationship green flags. We always talk about red flags, but Green flags are never something that we inherently think of first when we're looking for a partner. We're looking for, okay, what's wrong with them so I can get my nose, so I can go ahead and move on. Well, at least that's how I be doing it. So if y'all do it the same way, then we need to be looking at these relationship green flags. So so there's 11 relationship green flags on here, and I just really wanted to share this post with y'all. I will also link the actual post itself in the show notes down below for y'all so you can look at it. But the first one is the first relationship green flag, and they're in no kind of order, I don't think. But the first one is they apologize when they are wrong. Y'all, first of all, not me already seeing that I don't do this and that that's a red flag, but something that I didn't do for the longest, and I'm starting to do that now, now that I'm dating someone new, I am really trying to be the best version of myself and really check my ego at the dough. And I think this is a huge one for checking your ego at the dough, but because apologizing when you are wrong, like that's huge. Normally, when I'm wrong or I've noticed in certain situations and past relationships that I have been in, if I were wrong or the other person was wrong, we wouldn't necessarily say, hey, I was wrong, but we would do little things like I went to the store and got you some ice cream or even ask, are you still mad at me? Um, And just try to like glaze over the situation. But When a partner apologizes when they are wrong, green flag. The next one is their words and behaviors align. Y'all, that was a huge one for me in my previous relationship. The words and behavior did not align. The words was great, but the behavior obviously was not great. And I'm saying obvious because I'm saying that they didn't align, but the words were great and the actions did not measure up to the promises and the words that were being shared with your girl at the time. So if they are aligning their behaviors and their words, that's something to celebrate. The next one is they encourage your connections with others, friends, and family. I've been in relationships where we never really talked about my family. Like, and granted, I just thought it was because I lived on the East Coast or I lived on the West Coast and my family was in the South. So I was never really around my family. But, and I'm going to keep bringing it back since we're talking about relationships, I'm going to keep bringing it back to the current situation that I am in. Ooh, I should not call it a situation because it is not a situation. But we we aren't official yet. We're still in the dating, early dating phase. So in this current um, relationship that I am building with this wonderful man, um, he encourages my connections with friends and family as much as, you know, he can at this point. And I noticed in myself that, I'm actually interested in getting to know his friends and getting to know his family. And um, he has a brother who lives out here. And the other day I was just like, hey, you want to go see your brother? I know he lives kind of far away. We can make a day out of it or whatever the case may be. Just providing that space for him to share his friends and family with me or or not like asking questions about them and just encouraging him to build and foster those relationships Green flag. (laughs) The next one is they make you feel seen, heard, and appreciated. Oh, that is such a huge green flag, y'all. Before this relationship that I am building, I didn't necessarily know what it meant to feel seen. Like, I was like, okay, yeah, you see me, obviously, but feeling seen and feeling heard, that is so refreshing in this new relationship. And I think the simple way to put it to see if you feel seen and heard is think about the eye contact. Think about 
the things that this person is saying to you? Are they bringing things up that you mentioned to them one time? Are they encouraging you to do things that you may, may have said in passing. You know, for me, it's the little things for me feeling heard because I can scream at the top of my lungs something out loud and of course somebody will hear me. But those little nuanced things, like if I just said, oh, I really want, <laughs> I don't know, I really want a new water bottle and they show up with the water bottle that I may have said, oh my God, that's so cute in passing. That for me personally is feeling heard and the feeling seen. I was actually just talking to my guy about this, how I feel seen in this um, relationship that we're building because the eye contact at first, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit uncomfortable because I was like, why is this man always looking me in my eyes? But that was because I was not used to that type of intimacy. I was not used to looking someone in the eye so much. I was not used to someone fully giving me their undivided attention. So that is, for me, one of the biggest green flags. Hey y'all, I am interrupting this episode to let you guys know that this type of content is exclusively available for subscribers. I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek because this is something new that I am offering, but if you have not heard, your girl has an exclusive community on the Anchor platform. You can subscribe to the Affirmations for Black Girls podcast to receive bonus content. Think of your subscription as a digital hug from me whenever you may need it. Your subscription will include bomb real chats just like this one. And let me tell y'all, I am keeping it real raw and regular all the time. You'll have ad-free listening. You will also have access to my Affirmations for Black Girls newsletter, where I will keep you up to date with all things Affirmations for Black Girls, which will include upcoming events, things that have been on my heart to share with you guys, and additional resources to aid you in becoming the best version of yourself. And you'll also get unlimited additional affirmations, discounts on all products and merch created for affirmations for black girls and even the chance to be featured on a future episode of the podcast this is the part that i'm most excited about now if you want to hear the rest of this story girl or guy whoever become a subscriber it's only $4.99 a month and you get access to everything i just shared to subscribe, click the link in the show notes of this episode or go to anchor.fm forward slash affirmations for black girls forward slash subscribe. So let's get to know each other a little better and I hope to see you soon in this exclusive community.